So in this first video, I'm going to show you how to install Voice Attack and a Voice Pack for Elite Dangerous. So the first thing, you need Voice Attack, the full version, which you get off of Steam. So you should have it installed. And then the other thing is you should have downloaded your HCS Voice Pack um, and unzipped it, which I've done here. But we're going to start off with the setup of README. So we're going to skip down here. It says plug in your microphone, then we're going to go to Windows Control Panel and select Speech Recognition, and then choose the option to train your computer to understand you better. So I like to do that from the search bar, Control Panel, and it's going to be under Ease of Access. You have your speech recognition. Don't start here or set up a microphone unless you need to if it's not recognizing. But right here, we're going to go to train your computer to better understand you. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I'll just give you an idea and then I'll stop it. So what you're going to do is you're going to read some phrases. It's going to learn how you speak. Speech is the main way people bond and learn from each other. The way we speak affects the way we communicate with each other. Okay, so the second step says download the standard version of Voice Attack, install it, and run the program. We've done that. If you haven't done that yet, do that now. Make sure you right click and you do run as administrator. Um, we got ours from Steam, so we don't need to register Voice Attack. It's already going to have the registration code built into it. Well, if you have a previous Voice Pack, then you uninstall it you're updating but um, so voice attack needs to be closed so if you have it open you want to close it now uh, and we're going to run the HCS tools first I'm going to close this but the one you want is install HCS tools.exe I've already done that Um, and if you have multiple voice packs, you only need to run that one once. With any other voice packs you have, if you have multiples, the only thing you'll need to do after that is run the install.exe. The tools just need to be run once. Um, and it says always use the paths where you installed voice attack. Um, so you're going to use wherever voice attack was installed when you installed that. Um, if you need to know where it's installed, actually you're going to need to know this. I right click, go to properties, and you can do open file location. So this is where your voice attack is going to be installed. So if they're asking you to for a path, that's where you go. Um, once that is complete, we're going to start voice attack in admin mode. And this will be important for uh, enabling the plugin support. So we're going to go to the wrench. Over here we have enable plugin support. It's going to give you the warning. We're going to say yes. And the button's not going to show up yet until we restart. So I'm going to hit OK. Close it again. We're going to restart again in administrator mode. Um, this time uh, we're going to hit the icon and plugin manager should be here and you're going to select the HCS plugin 3.0 and we need to restart it again once this is set up you'll be fine with this once we get these plugins in here so run as administrator one more time so now what we're going to do is we're going to import uh, the profile. So right now I have my own custom profile in here, but what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, over here. These are profile actions. We're going to import a profile. And where you want to go, um, if you don't know where the singularity.vap is, um, where voice attack was, um, 
I'll show you again. Right click here, go to properties, open file location. What I do is I click in here and I just copy this, close it, come up here, you got paste it, hit enter. Um, so what it wants you to do is go to sounds, so you're in the voice attack, you're going to go under sounds, you're going to go under not the archer pack, you're going to go to HCS tools, go to profiles, then elite dangerous, and there will be a singularity.vap file right here. And we're going to open that. Okay, we're going to say yes. So now what that'll do is in this drop down, after it's imported, I guess it's not done yet. Okay, once this is loaded, the Elite Singularity one. You can switch between profiles if you have multiples, but I like to have my uh, mine come up here. Uh, and you can set this under your options here to have it uh, start when you start up the program. Then what we're going to do is, uh, on the icon here, you'll know whether it's actually listening for commands or not. You can see down here that it's recognizing my voice, but what I'm going to do mm -hmm. is by clicking here it now is looking listening for commands and you'll see that so now for the key bindings if we want to find out what key bindings are missing that uh, will not get triggered or what we need to set up in Elite Dangerous what we're gonna do is we're gonna say a command uh, protocol override customize my settings customizer opened and it opens up the customizer. This is part of the HCS plugin, why we had to have the plugins enabled. So in here it has a few different tools, but what we're going to do is we're going to have a key binding, uh, missing key bind report. So you already have, if you've already uh, started Elite Dangerous uh, at least once, it's going to go through the journal and go through the key binding. So if I click on this missing key binding report, it's going to check those binds. And what it's going to do is uh, it gives me a report. So here's where the bind file name is. Uh, it's hard to see it, but it's called custom.binds. So you kind of want to remember where this is because in the latest patch of Elite Dangerous, uh, when you save your commands, your custom binds, it's going to be custom dot three point dot binds, and we need to change that. So, here's what we're going to do: the missing key binds that it's looking at right now, targeting, and interface mode is what I'm missing right now. So I'm going to save this to a file uh, to my desktop, just so I can close this, and I'm just going to close. Customizer everything in here in voice attack. I can close this now. So now I have my missing keybind report. If I open up Elite Dangerous, right away we're going to go to Options. We're going to go to Controls. Now it tells us right in here, so we want to go to Targeting, and then Cycle Next Subsystem. I purposely got rid of this key binding just so that way this would come up. So I had my previous as the colon. This one I'm going to use. Uh, that one is already being used. So I'm going to do maybe shift in this. There we go. Hit apply. Uh, or don't even have to. I have another one, so I didn't have to hit apply yet. But let's find the other one. The other one is under interface mode. Here. And UI panel select. So I have my joystick stuff set up, binding set up here too. But so what I'm going to do is for this one, UI panel select, I have WASD. This one is normally space.
Okay, like I said, it could be anything you want. I could have done shift space or alt space or a combination of keys, even if I never use those. So now I should be able to exit this and we're going to redo this. Um, so redo this report is something we need to do first. Um, so we're going to shut that down. And this is something that doesn't tell you in in this report here. So um, let's go to where our our bindings are. So I'm going to highlight this, copy, and paste it up in here. Because that's where my bindings are, and hit enter. Um, so 3.0 binds. This is what I just did, this 3.0 binds here. But it's looking for custom dot binds, which is this one. If you're not comfortable deleting it, at least rename it to something else. Back up. Say yes. And then we're going to make a copy of this one. And rename it. Custom.binds. Okay, so now when we start a voice attack, it's going to look for custom.binds. So, we're going to get rid of this report. I'll just move it into there for now. We're going to restart voice attack as admin. It should load the customizer settings, and if it finds everything, it reads the key binds, it should wait. It shouldn't come up with any errors here. If you want to double check this, we're going to say the command again. Protocol override. Customize my settings. Oh, of course, I don't have the microphone on. Protocol override. Customize my settings. Opening customizer. So then it opens up the customizer. We're going to go to the missing keybind report. It says no missing or incorrect keybinds. So we're good. Um, and then, of course, you save changes or cancel. Um, anything else that you might want to do in this customizer, I can go over a little bit more later, but there's stuff like uh, miscellaneous. Um, if you don't want, like, some of the singing from Archer, you can disable that. Um, I prefer to have that off. Uh, particular sounds, things that it may do. Um, and... There's some other extra content stuff in here that you might want to do where you enable Explorer mode and where it does some extra things, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So we're all set to go. Now any time, and we can close this, and we can close this. So now uh, voice attack is configured. Um, it's listening to me right now, but what you want to do every time you before you uh, start up Elite Dangerous, you're going to start up voice attack, and it's going to rec wait for you. So I'm going to turn off the listening here, and I'm going to restart uh, Elite Dangerous and show you that it's working. Welcome back, Commander. And it recognized that it's going. Although my microphone didn't turn on yet, it's not waiting for any commands yet. I can see that by this. All onboard components have passed system checks. And I am back in my ship, and it automatically recognize is waiting now for uh, my commands. Left panel. Close panel. Galaxy map. Close galaxy map. Closing map. Left panel. Contacts. Contacts. Close panel. 
Right panel. Fire groups. Fire groups. So as you can see, everything is working fine now. Close panel. And you can see over in voice attack that it recognizes which commands I'm doing. So if you want to know what commands you're going to be doing or what commands it can take, something that I would uh, recommend you do is in here, this is where we're going to use the reference guide. So the Elite Dangerous reference guide for this voice pack is in here. So of course it goes through install and setup, which we've already done. Gives you a little introduction. But then some of the things that you're going to do. Um, uh, where you can retract your landing gear. You give these commands, um, and maybe you want to write down the most, the ones that you need to remember. But go through this. Um, um, one of the most useful things that you're going to use is when you're coming up to a station, um, when you get down to the seven seconds you want to go down to 75% so you don't uh, overshoot your destination. So you'll say 75%. So I usually say that around 12 seconds left to my target, and I say 75%. And it'll adjust your speed automatically. So I'll end it here.